two main it's your boy official trippy tv and i'm back again with another reaction video now we got nba top 10 plays of the night august 5th so this was last night highlights so we finna react to the um top 10 plays of the night but before i get into it man we just hit 400 subs man let's I ain't for 10 likes on this video. I appreciate everybody that watch my videos, view my videos, and I appreciate everybody that hit that notification bell that's a part of the game. If you ain't join the game, come on, join the game. Don't join the game too late. Now, life at the bubble, I think I think that's one of the best experiences for the NBA players because it's like an AAU tournament. You know, like, when they get done playing the game, they go wash up if they ain't got no game tomorrow. They, you know, wash up, get themselves straight after the game, recover. Then they, they in the hotel in the hotel room playing video games all that they can go watch other games it feel like uh, like an AAU tournament in my opinion but man I can't wait to uh, uh man the Lake Show y'all know what it is Lakers Lakers taking it you know LeBron for to get that fourth ring so if you ain't part of the Lake Show you better get with it now I don't want to hear nobody cause y'all we just got blew out so. I don't want to hear about yeah. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear nobody jump on the train. If you ain't on the train now, don't jump on it. But let's get into the video. From the NBA bubble on Wednesday, the top 10 plays of the day. So we're going to see your favorite gets this going. John Morant with a steal and a two-hand finish. The last in last week. So Rookie of the year. His cause, but it does help get us started. I got a question. Speaking of that, do y'all think Zion Williamson is overrated? Do y'all think he overrated? Just let me know. Let me know down below. You a basketball fan. I'm a big basketball fan. My goal in life to be is... Obviously, to be a content creator and be a professional basketball player. But let me know down in the comments, is Zion Williamson overrated? I mean, I don't think he overrated. I think he overrated not a lot, but uh, I don't really know how to explain it. But John Morant, he real deal. He, like, real deal. Zion, don't get me wrong. Zion real deal, too. But I just want to know if he overrated or not. Y'all, man, y'all let me know below. Bubble home team nine. weighs in at number nine. Markel Fultz lobs Markel it up to Fultz Terrence to, uh, Ross, who throws down a yeah, huge alley-oop. The 2013 That boy got bounced for real. Terrence Ross got bounced for real. At number eight, Utah hit 18 threes Wednesday to beat the Grizzlies, Mike. but we're thankful Mike Conley missed this one because he gives Donovan Conley. Mitchell a chance to clean up in a big nah, Donovan big Mitchell got bounced for real for real. seven. No Comes cap, to his courtesy of the bounced. Nuggets. P.J. Dozier drives to the block. Passes across the paint to Mason Plumley, who throws down a big one-handed dunk. Mason, the dog right. millionaire with a play worth the cost of virtual admission. Aaron Gordon factors in at number six, but maybe not the way you'd expect. Gordon's a facilitator this time as he finds Terrence Ross. With a nice oh, bounce Terrence pass. Ross Ross nasty, him well, him number five, dunk, Chris Paul finds CP? a cutting Hamadou Diallo, who throws down a now that, huge now. one-handed hammer. Now he got he got bounced for real. He, that boy bounce is real deal. Y'all see what he did for the Superman? Y'all see what he did in the dunk contest? The 2019 dunk that boy got bounced for real. The vertical at OKC's route of the Lakers. Number four, we're never above rewarding Lucky. Mm. Derek White drives into the paint, flips it behind his head for the Lucky reverse layup and gets the and one. <laughs> they say Lucky. You know what? Sometimes you toss it up and good things happen. Number three, Utah is back. Donovan Mitchell gets the handoff at the three-point line into the paint and delivers to Joe Ingles, who drains the corner three. Joe had 25 in the win over Memphis and had to say thanks for that dish by Dominic. At number two, who looks better than the Raptors right now? Here's Fred Van Vliet into the paint, slips it to OG Ananobi on the back cut, and Ananobi finishes with a reverse dunk. The Raptors are unblemished in the bubble. They've won seven in a they row still overall. Talk without Kawhi. And at number one, it's Jeremy number one. Grant, past DeMar DeRozan on the baseline, splits two Grant. more defenders for the big two-hander. DeRozan in the dust, and Grant gives us the punctuation we need for Wednesday's top ten plays of the night. Boy, he really long. 
But man, y'all let me know what Zion Williams is overrated. Y'all let me know what y'all think about who should win MVP, who should win defensive player of the um who should win defensive player, who should win rookie of the year, who should win win um MVP. Y'all let me know below, man. But I want to know the big question I want to know is Zion Williamson overrated, y'all. I say he not he not overrated in the sense like before coming into the league, he was I don't know how to put I don't know how to put this. John Morant was the sleeper. Zion Williamson was hyped, hyped up. Now John Morant is John Morant. John Morant hyped now. Like he got the hype now. Cause at first it wasn't nothing but I mean, people had John Morant coming into the um coming into the league, but you know, it was all talk about Zion Williamson. Cause that big what happened at Duke. So the talk was about Zion Williamson. Now they see John Morant really a dog. John Morant was really underrated. So you see he a top dog now. They really see what John Morant about. But man, y'all let me know what y'all think um, in the comment section. But if you new, come on join the game. Don't join the game too late. Let me know what, what um, type of reaction y'all want to see below too. Also, man, let's hit 500 subs, man. But let's aim for 10 likes on this video, man. It's your boy Official Triple TV. I'm out of here.